Hello everybody. I'm Dr. Ermina Van Dyken from Out of the Doldrums. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people like you obtain optimum health by adopting a whole foods, plant-based lifestyle. I'm taking a quick break from my work today here in the park to talk about the low carb craze. We've all heard about it and we've heard there are so many people that think a low carb diet results in better overall health, which is interesting because there's really not many studies to back that up. But of course, there are plenty of studies showing that a diet high in good quality carbohydrates is good for overall health and longevity. Let's talk about a brand new landmark paper that was published in the prestigious Lancet Journal right here on January 10th. This study is huge. It was titled Carbohydrate Quality and Human Health, a series of systematic reviews and meta-analyses. In this study, there's a group of researchers that did a series of systematic reviews and meta-analyses of prospective studies looking at carbohydrate quality and incidence of diseases, as well as mortality. So let's take a minute to review this study and let's talk about what they found. This study made a good point, emphasizing the fact that not all carbohydrates are the same. White bread and table sugar are considered carbohydrates, but they're not necessarily considered high quality, healthy carbohydrates. We know that white bread, refined grains, and table sugar are not good for you. They've been shown time and time again to increase the risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, cavities, and much, much more. On the other hand, carbohydrates from whole grains as well as vegetables and legumes are high quality carbohydrates and have been associated with overall health improvement. There's been some large studies published and they bunched all of the carbohydrates together and then they looked at the carbs and said, you know what? Carbs are bad. Carbs are bad for you. They're responsible for poor health. I would say this is hugely unfair to the healthy carbohydrates. This is unfair to the whole grains, to the vegetables, to the legumes such as beans and lentils. These good carbohydrates tend to be high fiber foods. So of course, they're gonna be good for your overall health. So back to the study. The researchers looked at approximately 135 million person years of data. Think about that for a minute, 135 million person years. That's a lot of time and a lot of data. They looked at over 185 prospective studies and 58 clinical trials. After crunching all the numbers, they found that quality carbohydrates were associated with a huge benefit. Here's what they found. There was a 15 to 30% decrease in all cause and cardiovascular related mortality. That means the more dietary fiber you eat, the lower your chance of dying. And the more healthy carbs you eat, the lower your chance of dying. The researchers compared fiber intake to heart incidence, type two diabetes, and colorectal cancer. And of course, they found a high fiber diet decreases heart disease, decreases type two diabetes, and decreases colorectal cancer. They also found that the greatest benefits were observed for people that consume 25 to 29 grams of dietary fiber a day. This was also a true finding when they looked at whole grain intake instead of just dietary fiber alone. Whole grains were shown to decrease mortality, heart disease, type two diabetes, and colon cancers. So what can we take away from this well done study? Well, most importantly, we can realize that not all carbohydrates are created equal and we cannot lump them into one type when we're doing studies. Of course, the simple carbohydrates, processed and refined foods are bad news and we should avoid those at all costs. But we really should try to get more whole grains and whole high fiber foods into our diet because they've been shown to improve overall health and decrease mortality. They have also been shown to decrease heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and our chances of getting colon cancer. Also, the next time a low carb diet aficionado tells you that there's a study showing that carbs are bad and that their high protein, low carb diet is better, Ask them if their article was comprehensive. Ask them if it was published in a prestigious journal like The Lancet. Ask them if the authors of that study did a meta-analysis reviewing 135 million person years of data. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something valuable and applicable to your individual health journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to show us some real support, subscribe. We love hearing from you, so please comment below with your thoughts and questions on the material covered in this video and let us know what health topics you want to learn more about. Until next time, aloha, thanks for watching.